Hey everybody, this car is for sale. It's not mine, just helping someone out. And I reckon it's a good car. I've just got it out for him taking a few photos before it gets advertised. And once that happens, you know it's gonna be dearer than it is now. As it is right now is the cheapest you're gonna get. And the reason I'm gonna to bother to do this video is that actually, I actually love the vehicle. It drives bloody awesome. It's got a lot of extras. I think it's value for money and it would suit someone that can do a bit of maintenance and tidy up work themselves. Let's have another quick look around the vehicle, okay? So this side here, it has got a couple of small uh, dents. The bloody paintwork's awesome. I can't even find the dents. Driver's side, awesome. It's got Falcon Wild Peaks. It's got a two inch lift. It's got a Safari snorkel, ARB bull bar, worn winch. It's got a tow bar. It's got an upgraded head unit, Anderson plug. It's got a bigger aftermarket exhaust which makes it a little bit more responsive, I believe. In the back here, you can see the door just opened itself with the upgraded strut, that's awesome. The seats are in here for roadworthy, cargo barrier, 600 watt inverter, uh, a nice table on the drifter um, storage system with the drawers. What's this, another seat cover? I can't even remember what it is. I'm sure I'm meant to know, but uh, I forget. The old pipe there for in case you want to get rid of the catch can, spare hoses, some filters, the rear handles from up there when the cargo barrier comes out, the old original head unit, spare belts, all the original bits and pieces. I think the original steering wheel's in there as well because there's an upgraded $600 steering wheel. That's what I mean. This car has got so many extras, it's not funny. Now, where's that? There is a little bit of damage I want to show you. There's a bit of a dent in this back driver's door there. Like, who cares? What a bargain, a GXL. It's got a little bit of damage on the door there, but I really don't think it's a big deal. For a vehicle of its age, who would really care? It drives great. I think it's an awesome vehicle. It's got the good floor mats, the good seat covers, black duck, right? It's got my shopping on the back seat. The trims and everything he's kept in really good condition in my opinion. I reckon if we looked under the mat, look at the carpet, it's like bloody new. What a car, I mean, unbelievable. Don't expect everything for nothing. It's not new anymore, there's a bit of you know, wear and tear on the door trim, but like I said, let's have a look under this. Look at the look at the carpet there, beautiful. It's a June 2009, last of the best of the 120s, with a Kenwood upgraded head unit. Bloody, probably got Apple CarPlay, but I don't know, I don't know. It's got volt meter down there for the dual battery system, USB outlets, like I said, black duck seat covers, bloody beautiful. The good mats, whatever they're called, I don't know. $600 steering wheel. The roof lining, everything's in pretty good condition. Bloody, if, it, if I didn't have so many products, I'm nearly buying it myself. I'm selling it to myself, not to you guys. There is an antenna on here. I haven't seen a UHF in there at the moment. So maybe be removed to go to the other vehicle. Like I said, Safari snorkel, ARB bull bar. There's some tape that needs cleaning up because there was an extra antenna there, obviously, because bloody ARB don't give you antenna mounts. Uh, a worn winch, it's old but apparently it works, it's got rope on it. Apparently these lights are really good as well. I haven't driven it at night, it could do with a headlight job, but overall, bloody how good's that? It's got South Australia registration for a little bit left at the moment. Let's have a look under the bonnet. So here's that awesome steering, it just actually, this car drives great. It's got a new steering rack. There's two other videos on this. It might look a bit dirty, but with a bit of cleaning, a bit of DIY maintenance, somebody couldn't put the trim back together properly. They've, you know, to pull it off, get a file, clean it up, get a blade, cut that out, tidy it up, clip it back together properly. There's three keys for this vehicle. Water bonus, light switches, ARB compressor. And here it is, let's have a quick last look under the bonnet. I'll tell you what, I don't know if you're going to get to this thing. You better get in quick because if you don't, I might. And it's maybe going to go back to South Australia. I don't know. There's going to be an ad probably going on car sales with the photos that I take now. And I reckon if the vehicle doesn't get sold from these three videos, what is the matter with you people? Seriously, somebody's got to want an awesome last of the best 120 Prado. ARB compressor. A catch can that you'd get rid of that leaks a little bit on the compressor, but no big deal. See, it cleans up all right, but a bit more degrees on Mickey Mouse. Get rid of all this stuff with that putting that pipe on and get rid of the catch can. So the ARB compressor's there. The coolant's a little bit low because the water pump is leaking. We know the water pump's leaking, so budget, you need a BFE job. It's got the upgrade pack, so it's got the traction control, etc. there. This is all... For the uh, lights, like I said, really good lights. There's a lot of wiring. This vehicle's got a lot of extras. It's got an aftermarket radiator upgrade. Aluminium radiator, mate. Where's the problem? Compressor, worn winch, 
extra fan. So the transmission oil doesn't run through the radiator anymore. It's got a separate standalone oil cooler and a fan for that, which you can switch on at your leisure. If you've got a scan gauge, you can monitor those temperatures. It's got an extra fuel filter. It's got a BCDC charger. It's got two batteries, dual battery system. I mean, don't expect that you've got to do nothing. The vehicle was sold. He's always done massive maintenance on it. There's a whole file there. Have a look at this file. Have a look at this maintenance record, right? Of all the paperwork, right? Lists of things that have been done. It's been well over served. Sorry about the wind. The injector readings are really good, but they've done 200,000 days. So it does need injectors. There's no two ways about it. It needs a BFE kit. So there's some money to spend and do some work yourself. You could tidy up the wiring a little bit as we discussed, but at the end of the day, it's not too bad. You know, whatever the case may be. Bloody beautiful. I'm gonna finish yakking about it. This is the last time you're gonna hear me talk about it. The only time you're gonna see it again is if I decide to buy it myself. Cause I'll tell you what, should I, do I need to say it again? It drives bloody awesome. It drives great. I really like how it drives. Mate, if I didn't have another 120 Prado, or do I need a spare? That's the question. Let me know in the comments. Are you interested? Maybe you need two cars, an old Prado for the full driving and the touring, something for you to tinker with, the sort of vehicle you can still work on, and a nice new hybrid Corolla to zip around and do all the other stuff with, or maybe you want a RAV4 or a Kluger or any other vehicle. You can ride your bloody electric push bike if you want, but I'll tell you what, last of the best of the 120s, Last of the best of the 150, 2015. After that, each to your own, but you know, I like this engine, I like these vehicles. Bada bing, bada boom. Catch you on the next one. Not about this car, see ya.